What's going on, Graveyard Shift family? We are here in Smyrna, Georgia at the Olive Springs Baptist Church Cemetery. Y'all, we are literally right off of Kai Parkway, the busy, busy freeway. But today is a very, very special day. Today is our inaugural, can I say inaugural? Inaugural? Today's our inaugural episode of, we still ain't came up with a, with, a, with a name for it yet. We call it PTO, Paranormal Travel Opportunity. But we need a name for the series, y'all. Listen, one of our shifters reached out to me, a gentleman by the name of Roy. He reached out to me and he said that he would love to try and get in contact with his really good friend from high school. This gentleman passed away about 25 years ago. He passed away in 1999. So, yeah. I thought it would be really interesting for us to come out here and meet Roy at his friend's grave. And just get to know Roy. Maybe get to know his friend a little bit. And just see if we could do a spirit box session. And who knows? Who knows? His friend's name was Danny. And he made it very clear that Danny was 100% the type of person that he would be so down. <laughs> like if he knew that his boy Roy <laughs> was finna go ghost hunting, Danny would have been like, man, come on, man, bring me along, man. <laughs> so I think that is cool. And so that makes me feel like if there is an opportunity for us to get in contact with Danny, he seems like the type of soul, per his friend Roy, that he would gladly talk to us. So let's go meet Roy and hear all about Danny and their friendship. Love, love, love. And help me come up with a name for this, y'all. PTO is cool for the emails, but we need a real name for this series. Let's get to it. All right, guys, Roy is over here, and don't worry, we keep it safe at the graveyard ship. I got pokey on me. No, I'm just playing. I'm serious, but Roy seems like a good guy, but I do got pokey on me. <laughs> here we go. Roy. What's up, brother? Dana? How's it going, man? Good, man. How's it going? How's it going? Good to see you, brother. Man, good seeing about, you. Good about ready you. to do a shift? I, listen, I'm ready to <laughs> clock in. I'm ready to oh. clock in. So, Roy, I would love to just kind of get to know you a little bit more. Uh, let our shifters get to know you a little bit more. And uh, just kind of tell us, you know, who we're here to speak, how y'all's relationship was, why you want to speak to this person. Just all of that so, good stuff, yeah, man. it's been a few years since I've been out here to see him, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't remember it being this loud out here, but. Right, right, because we are yeah. right by the busy street, man. So we're going to have to speak a little bit louder out yeah. here. But, you know, y'all know how we do it. So, listen, Roy, I want to know. How long have you been a part of the Graveyard Shift community? Uh-oh, you on the spot, Roy. I'm only about a year and two months. Okay, so you've been around since the, since the very beginning. I guess, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Hold on, you know what? Hold on. I got something for you guys. Hold on one second. All right, so we had to get out of the environment so you guys can hear us better. So, Roy, you said you've been a part of the Graveyard Shift community for about a year. Yeah, right around that, yeah. Okay, so, okay. So, have you always been, like, a believer in the paranormal? Well, yeah, it's been, you know, I've kind of followed uh, people to do that the spirit box thing for a few years now. And, you know, I, you got to believe, I think, if you're going to do it, you know, it, if you're going to do something like this, if you don't believe it, it's just going to waste the time. Yeah. Have uh, you uh, ever had? But I've never had. I know what you're going to ask. Yeah. I've never had that interaction with anything or anybody or, you know. So you've never seen, experience. You've never seen a, a ghost, a spirit? or you know, Not that I'm positive. Okay. You know, I mean, I'm sure I've, there's things. Have, there have been things, you know, you see and yeah, hear, yeah. And, but you don't know what that is. You know? Gotcha. So you've never done a spirit box session before? No, I haven't. It's, okay. It should be pretty cool. You know, I just hope, you know, just trying to connect with my friend Danny, who I went to high school with, and uh, he passed away in 1999 from a uh, self-inflicted gunshot wound. And, and uh, it's been a few years since I've been out here, and he's a great guy. 
we played music together since high school and after high school we played music he's a drummer and uh so um what type of guy was danny in high school uh, you know, Danny was a, a, was a little pretty boy, man. He didn't, oh, he, was he? he didn't have to try to get the girls. <laughs> he just stand there with a cigarette and just. Oh yeah, I was smoking cigarettes I, back no, in high no, school. I didn't smoke. I didn't smoke. You know, I was a singer, so I, 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 could, I, could, I could have no smoke. But he, but yeah, he was. He, he'd be out there. We'd go to Six Flags. He'd just stand up against the arcade, and the girls would just come talk to him. He didn't even have to say anything. You know, he was just that kind of kind of Fonzarelli kind of. I was about to say that this. The but picture you're painting, it, it sounds like he had like a black leather coat with a white t-shirt. Yeah, he had blonde hair. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. Know, he, was, he was just a cool guy, though. He was just a fairly down-earth guy, very talented, could draw, could do anything, you know? Yeah. Tell me one memory you remember just early on from, from you and Danny. Like, what's a fond memory you have when you think well, about Well, I mean, him? when I... Uh, Wow, there's a lot. We played a lot of shows together, yeah. and, and uh, we had a lot of fun. Yeah. A lot of stories I don't even want to talk about, but because <laughs> well, you know, but, but it was good, it was a good time. And I met Danny in high school in art class. I was we were both drawing album covers. That was a project, and just happened to turn out we were both drawing an album cover from the same band. Really, just happened to be that way. So we walked around, was looking at each other's art projects, and I was like, "Man, he's drawing. He's drawing the same band that I'm drawing. Different cover, though." What band was it? It was a band from Atlanta called Atlanta Rhythm Section. Okay. And uh, he was drawing the Champagne Jam album cover, and I was drawing the Dog Days album cover. That's funny. <laughs> so That's anyway, I we, we we connected that way. I said, like, "Man, you're a really good artist, man." He's like, "Yeah, you are too," you know. And then we started talking about the band and started talking about music. And I found out he was a drummer. He found out I play guitar and sing. And we started jamming together. Got two other friends of mine together. We played. What was the name of y'all's band? Back then, in high school was called Defiance. And de the other called the Defiance. Defiance. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but we weren't that Defiant, really. Yeah. We weren't Molly Cruz. Yeah. <laughs> what was the. Okay, let take me back to high school. Danny's the drummer. You're playing the guitar. Guitar and singing. And singing. You, you guys have the band Defiance. Like, what is the 16, 17 year old dream with you and Danny at oh, that point? Oh, at that point. Oh yeah, we were gonna be MTV. You know, uh, <laughs> MTV. If y'all remember that. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. You no, know, that was back it. when MTV played music. Yeah, because later on in life, I started writing my own music, and he joined that a band in early '90s that I already had put together doing original music. So at that point, we were like, okay, we need to work on getting a record deal. Let's, let's <laughs> do this, and then all of a sudden. The music scene changed at grunge and Seattle scene. I don't know if you remember that in the early 90s, but you, no. <laughs> the, the rock scene changed. Right, right. You know, and uh, so the music I was writing didn't, it wasn't, it wasn't popular anymore. Yeah. So, so at that point, we all cut our hair and got jobs. and I went to the real world. And started uh, just doing acoustic shows here and there and just playing music randomly. So up in time, up until the time that Danny passed away, so he passed away in, in the early thirties, right? Thirty-two, yeah. So from he just turned thirty-two, yeah. So from the from the high school days of the band, how long did the music continue with you guys up until him passing away? Um, well, we both played in different different projects, you know, and uh, but the last time me and him had a project was nineteen ninety-two. Okay. And uh, then we quit, and I got to back together with some other friends and put a new band together. And I was a band called Poor Otis from 2010 until 2018. Poor Otis. And we played all over town. Uh, okay. So, uh, but Danny wasn't a part of that, obviously, because he was already had departed at that point. It was a night of the uh, Falcons playing the Broncos, and uh, we lost, of course. And uh, that was the night that it tends man. to happen in Atlanta. Yeah, uh, I was like them damn Falcons made my da made my buddy. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> so what? The, what actually happened that night? I'm, I'm sure, man, because even in the email you said you always reference that football game. So it's, it's, it seems like that. Well, it was, it was a uh, a party, uh, a Super Bowl party that uh, other friends of ours was having, and I was invited to go, but I decided to stay home that night and. Uh, watch it at the house and he went had a great time from what i heard everything was great came home and uh something happened between him and his wife and him and so you think they got we still don't know back facts but knowing danny as well as i know him and as long as i've known him 
the only thing that would make him do something like that was a, a, a girl. Right, right. So, right. so did his wife ever like admit that there was an argument or be a strife in between them? Like, or she? No, no, she didn't talk about it at all. No, she kinda, really. She kind of no. She just she just pretty much said, I don't know if I should say this. I don't think she'll watch it. <laughs> no, she just pretty much said she went to go get a glass of water and she heard a pop. Came back just and he, out the blue, no conversation, no inkling. Yeah, but there was, I'm sure. You know, yeah, she didn't want to talk about that. Yeah, understandably, I guess. But right, right. So you know, it's been a mystery, but we all kind of know something must have went down. But still, you know, it's not her fault. He did that, but yeah, still, yeah. he still did the action. He still, he right. still did it. But anyway, he would love this. This is his totally his gig, man. He would love. Doing a shift. I mean, if he were here, he would he would be asking yeah. you instead of me to go out and do a shift with him, man. He would love this. So that's why I'm hoping that maybe, you know, we can get something. So you think he's he's the type of person that would communicate if he could communicate? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. I think so. So that's solid. So what are you trying to get out of this session? Oh man, you know, just it'd just be really cool to to, to know that he's okay. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, that's really it, man. You know, just to know that he's he's all right up there. And uh, I, another friend of mine who was playing bass in the Poor Otis Band, he passed away three years ago now of a heart attack. So I'm sure if, hopefully they're up there jamming, jamming out, together. out together. Yeah, That's cool. That's cool. So, Roy, man, I mean, I just have to be completely transparent with you. Like, I don't know who or what may come through the spirit box. Yeah, I gotcha. I cannot 100% say that it's Danny. You know what I mean? We hope that it is, we, you know. Do I believe that we could get in contact with Danny? I've just had too many experiences with the spirit box to believe yeah. otherwise. Yeah, we might get Walter. You might get Walter, <laughs> and your Walter gets frisky. <laughs> no, but it could be anybody or anything. Yeah. I have to stress that, so I don't want you to, for one minute think that I have some superpower and I'm gonna go out here and talk exactly. to your friend. Oh, yeah. It's not oh, anything yeah. like that. And I don't want any of the viewers to think that's what I do. I just have used this instrument, the spirit box, for the past few years. So I just feel like my ears has, it's just like an instrument. Like playing yeah. the guitar, or playing yeah, the yeah. drums. After so much practice, you start to tune your ear to just yeah, listen to the Yeah, I've noticed you uh, can tune your ear pretty well to that, that yeah, spare box. Yeah, you know? yeah. And then a lot of times, I go back and... Well, all the time, I go back when I edit and I put the listen. headphones in. And I'm hearing st a lot of stuff that I miss in real time. But, so we may miss a lot. But And if he doesn't come through, you never know. Somebody else here might... Never know. So Never it's know. worth a try, you know. It's, it'd be a good experience, regardless. Yeah, yeah. So. Well, let's set up out here and let's see if we can get a conversation going with Danny. Let's do it. Got it. It's rolling. All right, Roy. It's funny, Roy. Roy's my grandfather's name. Oh, cool. Yeah, yeah. We was just talking about him this past week. He passed away when I was like seven. But we were just, I was with my dad and his dad. We were just talking about him this past weekend. So, yeah, when I saw your name, I was like, damn, he was just talking about my granddaddy. Oh, wow. So, yeah, cool. that has nothing to do with nothing. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. 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 That's my name. Yeah, right. It has <laughs> everything to do with you. <laughs> so, here we're with Charles Daniel Rector, born December 30th, 1967, and passed away February 1st, 1999. Oh, 32 years. 32 years old. He was 32 years old, yeah. So yes, since sir. we're bumping up against this traffic, which we're going to, if we seem like we're yelling, y'all, <laughs> it's just so you make sure that y'all can hear us because we're literally, you see the traffic behind us. Traffic, and got music going back here Yeah, well. yeah. So we just got to project our voices just a little bit. It I'll sounds a little awkward. I'll do my best. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So? <laughs> well, anyway, we called him Danny. You know, and this is our beloved Danny boy. Yeah, yeah. His, uh, his parents are right there. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So, uh, and they were like a second family to me. His mom was was kind of like Aunt B from uh, from uh, uh, Andy Griffith. Andy Griffith. So, <laughs> kind of looked like her and acted like her. Yeah. I'd go over there. She'd make pies for me and stuff. Really great, great family. But anyway, do you have any pictures? Not on you of of, of well, I got uh, some old Danny ones boy. of Danny. You know, back in. 
so you have to send us those photos so we can post them in the video so people can see suave danny danny roy over here done told us now the blonde with the guitar y'all I'm gonna post this picture so y'all can see this picture, <laughs> y'all. Daddy, you are everything I thought you was gonna be, sir. That's me and him. Right Let me see. Ah! <laughs> it was the '80s, man. It was the '80s. He had red hair there. That's him. Yeah, he had red hair. I got, oh. my phone's dying. Oh, uh, don't worry. So I'm, that's why the green. I'm gonna get those photos from you, and Thanks. then we're gonna put them in the video so everybody can see what daddy boy look like man That's true. that is beautiful so danny my name is daylin i'm with a group of people called the graveyard shift and what we do is we come to resting communities and we try to speak to those who may not have been spoken to in a while but in this specific specific instance we have your good friend roy here and roy reached out to us to see if we could come and see if you know we can hear from you together. So, yeah, right. yeah go ahead, yeah, Roy. And if anybody else wants to chime in, that's fine, too. <laughs> right. Everyone that's resting. Peace and respect. Peace, love, and, and love. respect. Yeah. But Danny would love to love to have you come through, man, because I know you would totally dig this, this what's happening, you know, so hopefully maybe you will. Uh, yeah. I don't know what question to ask, you know. But, yeah, um, yeah. I'll just get it. I'll get it started, and then uh, we'll just see if anything initially happens, and then yeah, we can start. You can start chiming in. Let's see. Okay. So you have Dalen and Roy here, and uh, yeah, you guys know who we're here to speak to. So we would love for you to come through. Is there anyone here that would like to speak to us? What? Said what? He would. Yeah. So I'll get him for you. Can you tell me who you're going to go get? Play. No. I'm. I don't want to tell you what I'm hearing. Cause I don't want to make you hear what I hear. So just chime in when you think you hear something. Okay. Right, wrong, or indifferent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So if you just think something, if you think you heard something, like did he say? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I thought I heard something about playing. So. I heard it definitely did say play, and yeah. then the, the voice said no <laughs> yeah. right after. Yeah. So there were some D saying things. So. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's see. <laughs> Can you tell us the name of the person that we're coming here to speak to? I heard right next to you. Yes, you are. But can you tell us your name? Say we meet again. Here, man. Use your energy to talk to him, communicate with us. If you need to. Said he's helping. Sound like he asked a minute ago, why did he come? Oh, Danny, are you here? Neil, Austin, Austin. I think. Said I think. Can you tell me the name of your friend here? Said yes. That's how we'll know who you are. Danny, we need you to say your buddy's name. You say you know me. Okay. Do you remember the last time you saw your friend here? So we were working about come on. It happened. Danny, how did you pass away? 
You heard that, right? Thought about it permanently. Danny, do you do you remember what made you do that that night? No. Is that something that you don't want to talk talk about anymore? Was it an accident or was it on purpose? Danny, your friend would like to know. Was it an accident or did you intentionally hurt yourself? To deserve it. I just felt. I just felt. Did you did you get into it with your wife? What was your wife's name? So that's something I don't know. So you have to listen. Yeah. Danny, can you please tell us what your wife's name was? I know the what was her name? Stacy. Oh, Stacy. Mind you, we just got to go back and listen. Yeah, like it sounded like. Okay. 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 We, when we go back and put when I, when I go back and edit and put the headphones in, I can hear a lot, lot better. We got the wind blowing. You got the trees. You got the music going. The cars. So we got it. What um. What else do you want? Well, that's gonna be a big nervous music about music. It's gonna be play instrument play. Uh, of course, I know. But yeah, yeah, Danny, can you tell us what instrument you play? No. Danny, what was your favorite instrument to play? Really? Do you remember the name of you and Roy's first band? Where? Said where? High school band. <laughs> Danny, that's how we'll know that you're here for sure. Can you tell us the name of you and Roy's high school band? Did you hear? I just heard defiance. <laughs> I, I did like, too. I was like, that's yeah. word, a word they probably won't come that out. That won't come out the box. <laughs> you heard defiance. Same exact time. Clear as day. We defiance. both reacted on it. Wow. <laughs> that's Randall. That's wild. I wasn't expecting for him to you know, hear that out of that box, you know, that word. I've never heard defiance come out of like some words you get all the time. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've wow. never I can't think of an instance I've just heard the word defiance well, it come out. It sounded like defiance to me. Yeah, and we both reacted at the same time. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Come on, Danny, you can dig this, man. <laughs> He's like, man, I'm giving it to you. 
Okay, so you need a drink, man. You talk a lot more when you drink. <laughs> let's okay. Let's recap. So so far, the two tidbits of information that we know for sure we heard. You asked how he passed away. He said gun, and then you asked specifically the name of your high school band, and he clearly said defiance. Heard that? So that's pretty cool. If we don't get nothing else, yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I think what else I can ask? Yeah, we, we out here. We out here, Roy. Let me check the video. Keep going. Keep thinking about what you what you want to ask. Yeah. Danny, man, that's cool. So we know you're here. Do you miss playing music? Yeah. Oh, I mean, damage. Oh, man, yeah. He said, yeah. What do you miss most about playing music? Ladies? Is that what he said? That's what makes sense. Daddy, you miss the ladies, man? Yes. Dude, they have a drum set where you're at? What did he say? God hates them? That's not what he said. Did I hear that? That's what it like. <laughs> does, does God... <laughs> too much noise? Are you making too much noise up there, Danny? Oh... <laughs> No. You had another. Danny, is, uh, is Chris up there with you? Where, you, where you're at? Is Chris there with you? Yeah. Chris, are you here with Danny right now? Danny, do you are you playing music with Chris up there? Good. Yes. How old are you, Danny? How old are you, Danny? Danny, can you tell us how old you are now? So, Danny, let me ask you this. Is there anything you want to tell Roy? What did he say? Get what? Get laid? Danny, are you saying Roy should start back playing music? Say yes. Should I something with you? Do you miss Roy's music? So what do you think Roy should do? We miss you, man. We talk about you all the time. I know. Should I know it? Danny, do you watch over Roy? Thank you. 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 Thank you.
But Danny, I think it's cool, man, that 25 years later, man, your friends are still thinking about you. You're still living on. Hi, Grandma. How's Grandma? Does that mean you're there? Are you with your, uh, you with your parents, Danny? No. Is Juanita there with you? Danny, do you like when people come visit you? I would. I would. I would. Who are you with, Danny? Is there anybody else you're hanging out with? Danny, have you played any shows recently? Play a lot here. <laughs> well, there's a lot of great musicians. Have you collaborated with any artists up there? Sure have. Have you switched up your style of music yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> what was your favorite band in high school, Danny? Please. Was that his favorite group? I heard crew, but I Okay. Danny, man, it's your opportunity to talk to us, so we can jump at this opportunity. Let us know how you're doing. Is it hard to communicate with us, Danny? I still try to figure out if maybe it takes a lot yeah, for them to come through. So, what do you what do you what do you, what do you think? No, it was cool. You know, it was more something than I expected. You know, really yeah, yeah, yeah. Even though I know that this is totally his type of thing, but you never know. You never yeah, know. he might be up there in the middle of the gig right now. <laughs> They're right. Or he, wherever he's he asking questions. He's like, oh man, <laughs> I'm trying to play. Good man, good. <laughs> nah, man, that is That's interesting. Cool. That's cool. I didn't know what to expect either, but like I said, those are. Only some things that you can verify, like that Motley Crew. You heard that. I heard, I heard Crew. So I'm, I'm again. I'm, I'm gonna go edit. I'm gonna listen to the video, put the headphones in, and try to really play it back and back and back. But I really feel like the gun was interesting, and the uh, the band name, your band name, Defiance. How do you justify that? That's a weird name. It's random. It's not like your name was like bad or like yeah. stop or like <laughs> something comes out the box all the time yeah. what do you make of that nah, it was cool man you know it's i mean that that word right there had it's pretty convincing you know yeah, it's pretty it's pretty wild i guess i'm happy yeah happy that came through yeah you know? so does that make you feel like that you might uh might have really possibly got in contact yeah, you know, and you know, there's always another. You know, I might have to come back and try this again. You know, uh, another time and see, because you never know. It might be one day they're more interactive than other days. Yeah, you know, and this could be something new for for and Danny, the spirit probably, box. Exactly. So you know, you get a couple words out. He lets you know some 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 the answers to a few questions that you would think he would probably only know. Yeah. You know what I mean? And so he lets you know those answers, kind of lets you know that I am here. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool, man. That's cool.
Yeah, I'll just send you the pictures. Yeah, yeah, please email me the pictures so our but family I, uh, can see the guy that we're talking to. Yeah, Danny, it was a cool guy. And uh, I appreciate you letting me do this, man. It was really cool. Yeah, is there anything else you want to just say to Danny before you get on up out of here? Oh, man. I hope, he's, I hope you're well, Danny. Keep rocking. Uh, I don't know what to ask anymore. Uh, that you would be willing to tell. <laughs> Had a lot of good times. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, Danny, man, we appreciate your time. We appreciate you talking in and clocking in with the graveyard shift. His cat, he had a cat named Izzy that was his love. Love, I wonder if you know. You said he had a cat? A cat named Izzy that was his. Let's see. Let's see. Pride and joy. He loved Izzy. Let's see. Danny, can you tell us your cat's name? Uh oh. Oops. It was named after one of the members of uh, Guns N' Roses. Really? <laughs> Danny, can you tell us your cat's name? Yeah, what was your name, your cat? You love so much, Danny. Is he there with you? Did you? I thought I heard Izzy. I thought I heard Izzy. I thought I heard Izzy. <laughs> Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Danny, are you with Izzy now? Yeah, in the bed. <laughs> well, cool. Well, Danny, I appreciate you again, man. Thank you, brother. Good talking to you. <laughs> Right. You know, got something. I didn't even expect to get that. You know, sweetie. No, man. It's hopeful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Again, y'all, this is new. This is new. It's interesting. We we don't know who we are communicating with on the other side. All we can do is just ask questions see and, and see what happens. Yeah. It could but, be other spirits trying to come in at the same time. Yeah. Interfering. Because to be completely honest. To be completely honest, I, I I was trying to take all of that in consideration. I was like, all right, all the questions you 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 asked. So when he, the response is gun and um, defiance, you told me in the car. Yes, exactly. So I was like, okay, let's just let's just say the that's it. The machine wasn't on. The machine wasn't <laughs> on, but let's just but you did say it out loud. Yeah, I did tell you that. So let's just say whoever we was talking to that wasn't Danny heard that, and then regurgitated it here, okay? Uh, that's possible, yeah. You never told me his favorite group. Yeah, never said that. Never you never said it out loud. So to hear Motley Crue. Yeah, I, I thought I heard Crue. <laughs> you said you heard Crue. I heard Crue. So when you go back and listen, yeah. and his wife's name was Stacy, so I... Might have heard listen, that in there. Listen, I'm, I'm listening for all of that. So And you never said that in the car. No. So those two things would make me feel like, all right, somebody knows something because we ain't eat on that. Yeah, especially me and Gun and Defiance, those two are there. So those are the two that are pretty sold juice? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's cool, man. Roy, I appreciate your time, brother. Thank you, brother. Appreciate Thank you, it, man. man. Thank you. Keep, please continue clocking in and shifting along. We'll do it. And uh, Graveyard Shift family, we will open up you know, for many, many more opportunities for these type of sessions. So please send an email to us at the graveyard shift TV at gmail.com. And one of our team members will get back to you. We're trying to do these every week. Roy, do you have anything you like to say to the graveyard shift family oh, about your experience or? Oh, it was a great experience. Man. I hope some of you guys can do it as well with Balin. Balin's a great guy. I love his videos. When you continue watching them, you continue watching them as well. And, uh, you can have an experience, man. You might never forget. It's cool. Yeah, you know it's been a while since I got to come out here and see Danny. It's been a few years, and uh, so it was the first person I could think of that I would maybe try to connect with. My old brother. Yeah, yeah. Again, man, Roy, we appreciate oh, you, man. brother. Thank you, Dale. For sure. Love, love, love. Catch you tomorrow. Good job.